Hi everybody, today we will see uh, a very important command in uh, Salome Mecca, that is the partition command and uh, how uh, to uh, constrain uh, the degrees of freedom node by node so that we can uh, create uh, an assembly with uh, conformal mesh and uh, if we want to release some degrees of freedom between the two bodies uh, we will start with uh, a geometry very similar to the one of the last uh, video tutorial and we will translate the second one in the top face of the big one so here we will have 250 50 applying close now we will have uh, cube 2 here there's the little one and cube 1 that will be the big one and we can, uh, let's say, try to play with this command uh, that is partition. Uh, in my opinion, is the most important command uh, in Salome Mecca. And uh, if in the future you will need to do some Boolean uh, uh, operation, uh, you can use partition as well. And uh, in my personal uh, uh, experience the partition command uh, it's very solid and very well structured so here we have these two object and tool object object is the object to be partitioned and the tool object is the object uh, with uh, you are partitioning the first one so here we put for example cube one uh, sorry, here we put the cube 1, that is the big one, and here we put the cube 2, that is the little one, and we go for apply. And we see that the uh, partition 1 is at the end cube 1 with the partition on the surface in this case, but if the two volumes were uh, penetrated, you will ha you have had, uh, let's say, the common volume also as a partition but now we have uh, this surface and uh, this surface will permit to us uh, to create a conformus mesh between uh, uh, cube 2 and cube 1 so here we will call it um, cube uh, cube p cube p that stands for partitioned and now we can go uh, creating uh, some groups uh, between uh, cube 2 and uh, cube p we start with cube p create group we will say select all cube p add as a voluminal then we will say here contact p add uh, apply as a um, surface group and then we would say here the fixed hand add apply and we are good for this cube now we go for cube 2 create group apply then here count 2 so the contact face of the group and uh, then uh, we will put uh, uh, the face here where we will put uh, force uh, 
now we will go to um, the mesh module where we will create uh, the mesh for the two um, for the two surfaces now uh, basically what we need to do a conformal mesh uh, is uh, uh, the fact that we need uh, in the interfaces between the two solids uh, uh, the nodes at the same position and uh, at the end to relate them automatically we need that the vector of the nodes of the first body has the same uh, dimension of the second uh, of the vector of the second solid so we need to uh, create the mesh uh, starting from the uh, for so for geometry we start from QP we will start from here wire discretization and we will ask for local length of 10 then here again we will force uh, an uh, hexahedral uh, 10 mesh and the same for uh, the 3d algorithm so we have to construct again manually the algorithm for uh, the discretization this is mandatory if you want to achieve this result we will go computing the mesh for cube 2 and uh, when we will create the mesh we will go to wire discretization we will use automatically as you can see here the parameters we defined before for the other mesh so we will do like that and uh, as we can see also visually uh, defining the mesh in this way we will have the same division of the segments then the same division of the areas so we will have also graphically a, a mesh that is conformal now we have to uh, create the group from geometry and we do let's say the same procedure we did uh, in the previous tutorial uh, apply close and uh, so here from geometry and uh, cube 2 apply and close and now between these two we will create a compound create group from input and we do not want to merge the coincident nodes because we want uh, to uh, create a relationship between uh, two nodes that are in the same place so apply and close we save save and we go to us test study Add new stage mesh, read the mesh, and here we will take compound model definition. Sorry, model assign finite element everywhere, mechanical as always, 3D. Okay. Okay, and uh, now we have to define a material as always linear isotropic and we will assign the material to the whole uh, assembly everywhere material okay okay and uh, 
uh, now we will go to uh, defining uh, first of all let's say we will do two assignment uh, to be let's say more clear the first one is the easy one so we will assign uh, the fixed face uh, on bottom and the fourth face uh, on top so uh, group of elements here we will go to for uh, fix okay and we will block all the translation on that surface And then we will go for first phase. Uh, for first phase. And here we will go on here zero point one, for example. Okay. Force. Okay. And now uh, we will create another official mecha, another, let's say, assignment of mechanical characteristics uh, with uh, the uh, command liaison group. Now, the command liaison group is a very important uh, command and uh, basically uh, is in this very important document that is a feature mecha liaison group uh, liaison group basically allows to define the same linear relation between certain degrees of freedom of couple of nodes this couple of nodes being obtained while putting in opposite two lists of mesh and node the full number of imposed relations is equal to the number of couple of nodes so we will have two uh, couple of nodes that are here group no group ma and uh, uh, we need uh, that uh, these two groups as I said before has the same length and uh, then uh, we will have the possibility to uh, say what is the degrees of freedom to be uh, blocked and uh, then uh, what is the um, relation between the two here uh, we will have, let's say, uh, the every um, concept, every keyword is very well uh, explained. Uh, we will see how it works. Speaking about uh, group no one, we will say cube p. Sorry, count p. Okay, uh, Q group no two, we would say uh, count two, count P, count two. Okay, DDL one, we would say DX. Now, uh, DDL two, we would say DX. Here we have coef, coef mult one, coef mult two, coef impo. This is because uh, uh, you can write down in this way the relationship between these two degrees of freedom. Basically, you will have coefficient mult one multiplied for the x of the first group uh, plus coefficient mult two multiplied for the x of the second group equal coef impo so here we will put one and here we will put minus one and here we will put zero because we want that the x of the first node is equal to the x of the second node so we create this equation that is the x of the first minus the x of the second equals zero uh, and we will have to say that for every degree of freedom so okay now we will do it again count p count 2 
now we'll have here the epsilon and here the epsilon and here one and here minus one and here zero okay okay oh sorry i i'm missing the last one of course if you script uh, let's say graphically the compile is uh, only copy paste but now this is more for uh, let's say explaining uh, how it works uh, than uh, to say how you will do it uh, practically when you will have to use Codaster because now I will show you the Z one and uh, the Z minus one and here zero okay okay now here is written in the codaster uh, let's say language so we will have milt one minus one the x the x and the two groups one the epsilon the z okay now we will go for a static mechanical analysis, uh, uh, material field model. We will have two uh, load one that are only the external uh, forces and load zero that is uh, the connection between the two bodies. Okay, and uh, we would say that. Uh, we will print this result that will be conformal mesh conformal dot harmed save and then okay uh, results we will uh, take the result and we will print all the fields okay history view we save and we we'll go solving the system green light so we will go seeing the results As we can see, the field of the results is continuous, and uh, if we want to generate the uh, deformed shape, we would see that uh, everything uh, is working very well uh, with this procedure that uh, leads to uh, conformus, conformal uh, mesh. Uh, today is everything now I will do another video because uh, let's say the better way to do an assembly is not to do an assembly and uh, in the next tutorial uh, you will see what I mean uh, live long and prosper